We do not live in an imaginary world like in the movies or books. There is no plot designed for you to ultimately reach the spotlight. There are no supporting characters whose sole purpose is to make you shine. The clothes and the styles that you may change to become the main character is only just a mask. But, question, who is that person under the mask? Remove the layers of entitlement that blanket over your insecurities. Unwrap the ego that is worn as a need to feel important and take a humble look within. If the main character trend is ultimately about wanting to feel loved, we need to ask how can this be achieved without putting yourself and your life on a pedestal or other people's lives and lifestyles on a pedestal. Idealizing a certain style or lifestyle does not serve you. Idealizing means to know that you are lacking and are wanting to fill in that lack. So to fill in that lack, you pretend to be the main character. You play a role and a role is ultimately not real. It is not authentic to who you truly are. To think that you are lacking. You think you lack because you do not meet a standard that is considered to be a norm. But that does not mean that you are lacking, that just means that you are different. The irony of the main character is that they cannot be a main character without the acknowledgement of the supporting characters, their own story, environment, and the reader of a book or the audience of a movie. The main character relies on others in order to be recognized as the main character. They are dependent on their relations and other perspectives. Thus, a question to think about is, who is the main character without their relations to others? That is important, I would say. This is not to criticize and say that no one is important or significant. Rather, every life has its own unique way of being important. And because each life is important, no one is uniquely significant. The hierarchies of significance exist because of human values about what kind of person or lifestyle or style is more valuable. A celebrity, for instance, is seen to be more valuable ironically because they may play the role of a main character in a movie. But I think we sometimes confuse the artist and the role that they play in the movie. In life, I think that we need to be aware of whether we are playing a role or are being authentic to ourselves in order to truly live in love. The real question is, can you meet your own insecurities and dissatisfaction with full attention and with tenderness? By removing the role and mask of the main character, can you recognize your authentic style, personality and identity? Not only recognize, but gently accept and embrace your authentic nature. This does not mean to say that one can never change and one's authentic nature is always the same. But realize that wearing your authentic nature over time will bring more comfort and joy, like wearing a cozy blanket. Wearing the main character mask may feel like a plastic mask that fogs up your sight and brings the discomfort of being self-conscious about whether or not you're playing your part correctly. I just want to say that living authentically as possible by expressing yourself creatively may not necessarily bring you egoic pleasure, that is attention, but you may be able to exist in a state where the desire to shine does not exist because your authenticity is enough to make you shine from within.